What's up guys, Jake Lauer here. And today we're gonna to be testing one of the most hated swim baits in the bass fishing industry. So I was watching a video that Lunkers TV made on this specific swim bait and he essentially just drilled into it. He said it sucked, he like threw it in his pool and the thing was like rolling side to side and he just absolutely hated it. Well, interestingly enough, that bait is actually made by another YouTuber, Ben Milliken, who swears by it. I'm not gonna reveal that bait just quite yet. It'll all make sense in a minute or two, but let's take a look at the spot we're gonna fish at today and then we'll go over the bait. So I'm here at Sam Rayburn, one of the spots I fish at a lot. And the reason this spot is going to be good for this bait is because it's one of the only spots that I can fish that is very bank accessible. And I also have the potential to hook into a giant. I was here maybe a couple weeks ago and I hooked a freaking giant striper at this spot. So I'm hoping we can might be able to replicate that with this bait. But the plan today is to get that thing out of the box, film our first impressions, get our hands on it, kind of feel what we think about this bait. And then we're gonna fish with it and see how the action on this thing is and see if we can actually catch a fish on Ben Milliken's swim bait. Interestingly enough, there is kind of a lot of beef between these two guys. I recall Ben Milliken filming a video that hated on Guggen baits. And then this was kind of a response from Lunkers like almost two years later, which is kind of, kind of late. So always, and arguments and stuff, there's one side that's generally right. I know for a fact that Six Sense makes quality lures. Also, Guggen Squad makes quality lures. We're gonna see who in this argument is actually right, if this lure sucks or if Lunkers TV is just hating. All right, guys, I got the bait in my hand right here. It is the Six Sense Hangover. This is in a 6.25 inch length, slow sinking rate. It's two and a half ounces. First impressions of this thing are that it's actually looks really nice. It looks like a pretty standard line through swim bait and at very affordable price too. Usually swim baits of this kind of uh, style are more expensive. This one was, I think $12. I picked it up at Dick's in my town. Let me get this thing unboxed and we'll take a look at it. All right guys, I got a nice spot on this rock unboxing the six inch uh, hangover shaft. Packaging seems high quality. Let's get this thing out of here. So what comes in this box is two things. You have your soft swim bait here and it is actually very, very soft. Genuinely surprised by how soft this plastic is and the quality of, you know, look at that action of that tail. The color is in a, it looks like a shad color. It has a black top and then a white bottom. And then it also comes with a large treble hook with a little line tie on that treble hook. The theory here is that you stick your line through the front of that swim bait, and then you run it through the swim bait, pull that line out the top, and then hook this treble hook in the top of the bait. Overall, this thing looks freaking really, really good, and my first impressions of this thing are not bad. The real question today, though, is going to be whether or not we can catch fish on it. So far, so good. All right, guys, I got this thing rigged up right here. Let's test the action, but first, I see a freaking giant bass cruising guys. I'm not kidding you. I see at least a four pounder right in front of me. Let's get this thing out there and see if we can maybe get something in front of it. Okay. What the hell? Hold on guys. That is not good. What the heck is this thing? I'm not kidding you. This thing just did like four 360s underwater. Let me rig it a little further back, but guys, this is so far very, very bad first impression. Let me give this thing another try. I rigged it further back. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, when you, you have to reel it a little faster and it gives it more of a straight action, but overall, the first impression on this thing is looking really bad, really, really bad. See if I can get a better angle at this thing so you guys can see it. But if you reel this thing in slow, it is like freaking just 360 in the water. Look at this. It is just moving side to side. Like the, the action on this thing is just non-existent. You really have to crank it in. Oh boy, guys, this might have turned into a real big challenge to try and catch a fish on this thing. Really, really concerned about Ben Milliken's freaking bait. I am seeing a ton of bass though, which is surprising for the spot, but I guess we're just gonna have to reel this thing in fast and you know, we can't really fish it in like a particular direction, but this is really one dimensional. And honestly, guys, I'm surprised by how bad this thing actually is. Okay. 
Let's let it sink for a minute. And then we're just gonna have to crank it. It's really the only way to get this thing to have a good action. Okay, the action looks pretty good under the water when you crank it in, but it's not as, it's not really a speed you wanna be fishing the swim bait. You kinda wanna be throwing this a little slower. Honestly, this bait is terrible. Like I am genuinely surprised by how bad this thing is. How do you have a swim bait that you can't retrieve slowly? Like what, what, what is that? I'm gonna have to let this thing sink and then retrieve it fast and then kind of let it sink again. Really is like the only way I think I could fish this while maintaining it in the strike zone because this is some deeper water. But it's like every time I retrieve it fast enough to get the tail to move, the damn thing comes to the surface. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if some like weird nut shit happens though with this where I end up like catching my PB or something because the conditions are just so good. Giant bass could see it and just destroy it. But overall, I'm not not feeling it right now. All right, we're in the shade here. Shade could be good if the sun comes up, but let's take a look at that action again, guys, just so you guys can actually see what this thing looks like when you retrieve it in slow. I'm gonna make a short cast. I mean, it literally just spins side to side. Like there is no <laughs> tail action. It's a very one dimensional bait for, you know, $12. I guess it's a decent deal, but you probably won't see me throwing this outside of this video because of how bad it is when you slowly retrieve it. You know, you're trying to get these big fish to bite and these big fish don't want to hit something that's retrieved really quickly. This one's relatively easy to fish with because there's no way you could fish it other than just fastly retrieving it. I guess I could let it sink. Oh, this is a shame guys, because I'm seeing big fish under the water and I'm using this dumbass lure. I mean, just the way this thing sinks and the sinking rate is, like you're not getting any more than two inches of depth when you have to retrieve it enough to get action. Like it, it, it just like it's broken guys. It is literally a broken lure. Freaking rock hop this is. Oh, okay. All right guys, I made it over to a different area in the lake. This is kind of the outcropping of the dam. It really drops off deep just beyond this little flat area right here. So it should be pretty good for the swim bait. We're kind of to the point of the video where it's gonna be at least another hour or so of just grinding through this bait, but I'm seeing bass shallow, so it might call for a lure switch up and I might put on what I would throw in these conditions to see if we can have a different outcome. But so far, I guess you get what you pay for with the uh, $12 is, is how I'm gonna put it. Cast over here. I saw a couple bass boats go by, but they're throwing little square bills and catching dinks through here, so. There's a big guy cruising around. He probably didn't eat a square bill and he's probably gonna eat a big swim bait. The question is whether or not this is the swim bait that he's gonna eat. <laughs> All right guys, so far so bad with this freaking bait. I am not feeling it. I still got it rigged up. We're still gonna grind out today. I haven't seen many fish along the bottom. I guess I'm just using the wrong thing. And also this lure is just not it guys. It, it, it really isn't, it doesn't have good action. It's really hard to fish. Best spot in the whole damn lake is right there next to that dam. But I'm gonna walk over there. We're gonna do some rock hopping and hopefully we can end up catching a freaking giant fish on the swim bait. Just so you guys know, this is not a bad spot. I came here with an Alabama rig. Again, obviously an Alabama rig. I hooked like eight fish in a like two hour session. And right now, it's not looking like I'm gonna catch anything. I've already been fishing for at least an hour and a half. Milliken probably didn't realize this bait was as bad as it actually is when they released it. And I don't think he's out here trying to like sell bad baits to people. But the flip side of that is they are. Okay guys, I am currently looking at like six bass, all of like different sizes. The biggest bass looks like it's maybe five to six pounds and he's currently chasing fish off his bed. This could not be a better freaking spot. Well, there's only one bait I'm gonna throw in here. There's this giant ass swim bait on the freaking bed. So let's see if maybe, maybe that'll help. But this is easily a five pound bass right in front of me. Okay. Swim bait bed fishing, is that is that a thing? I see a big ass gar too. Maybe I can hook that. The fish don't even give this thing a light of day. Like the bass, the gar, nada. But I, I, I'm really, really struggling to not go tie something else on, guys. Do I do it? Do I freaking do it? I don't know where that bass went. All right, I'm still gonna go down the dam. I'm gonna fish there. If I don't hook anything out the dam, it's gonna be time to switch, switch baits. And hopefully I can see that big bass again 
and maybe catch them because this is freaking just unbelievable guys like the fact that i'm seeing fish like this all oh, oh my god oh my god 10 pounder i'm not kidding you guys 10 pounder 10 pounder <laughs> oh, it's honestly freaking stupid. All this thing is doing is spooking the crap out of these fish. I'm just throwing like a freaking spiraling bait down to giant 10 pounders. Unbelievable. Six cents, is this really the product you guys put out? Freaking spinny baits that are like almost comical to fish to big fish so i guess i'm the freaking dumbass for buying it oh my gosh oh my gosh Oh, are you kidding me? What the heck? You guys can see that, right? How am I going to deal with this? Freaking turtle? That's what I felt, bite? All right, well, that's pretty much insane. I've never done that before is freaking hook a turtle in the back leg with a swim bait. I mean, come on. This is like, this, this bait is a freaking joke. All right, guys. I got a Z-Man little chunk thing tied on and I'm gonna see if I could spot these bass again currently I don't see any of them but that's because I just set up the camera but we will see if maybe we can uh, hook one of these big fish I spotted earlier they're spawning in like four feet of water and it's kind of hard to see where they are especially with this wind that came in now um, the water is not glassy so it's much harder to see and all right I'm just gonna walk along the bank up high till I spot a bass. Big bass, big bass. I'm gonna move too quickly. He's looking right at me. Okay guys, giant. Literal freaking giant. Okay, how do I do this? Okay, it's spilled. Dang it. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up the video fishing with Ben Milliken's Sixth Sense Hangover. Overall, I think the hate on this lure is slightly justified. I mean, this thing freaking spins in a circle and corkscrews and everything. I was able to get it to swim straight for a little bit, but it was like a very specific cadence that you had to fish that was just like not really proponent to, you know, hooking bigger fish because you had to reel it in really fast. Yeah, I honestly think that uh, Mr. Lunker's TV is, is pretty much right on right on the money with this thing it is not freaking what it's cut out to be now for twelve dollars for a, a large swim bait like this i don't hate it i'm not like a, a full hater against it but if this thing was like twenty dollars i would definitely be pissed off unfortunately though we weren't be able to catch anything today we saw a bunch of fish they were either on beds or up shallow and that was a pretty pressured spot so it was literally as soon as i cast it into the fish they would spook he liked ben milliken swim bait what can i say turtles eat this damn thing anyways guys we're back in action for the next 10 weeks we're gonna go hard at it and post a video every single week the fishing season is just only ramping up obviously the spawn kind of messes things up this time of year the spawn can be really really good if you can get to those spawning fish or it could be really really bad but every week for the next 10 weeks we're gonna make it happen so but anyways guys if you like the video like the video subscribe if you haven't and I will catch you next time